Today we're going to talk about printing to the bypass tray. You may wonder what the heck is a bypass tray? It's actually a tray that where you can load specialty paper without changing the current paper that's been loaded into the drawers. It will also keep people from printing on your your specialty paper. Now what you need to do is go to file and print. Click on the properties tab. And as you can see, this is the bypass tray right here. So that's where you will be loading your paper in the correct orientation. Orientation meaning landscape or portrait. For most 8.5 by 11 paper, you will need to load it landscape into the, into the bypass tray. Then you're going to select your paper, go to advanced, and as you can see, your paper tray selection needs to say bypass and it will default to the paper that you have loaded in there. Sometimes people like to use the high gloss, they like to use cardstock, or different colored paper, and this saves them from having to go into the drawer to do that. When you um, pick up your printing, it's oftentimes it's in the belly of the machine right here. Make sure that you check your color output, whether you want it color. You can also check whether or not you want it one-sided or two-sided. I've even printed two-sided on cardstock and it prints beautifully. And then you just click OK, check the number of copies that you want, and OK, and you're good to go. I hope this clears up any information or questions you may have about printing to the bypass tray. Thank you.